Hi everybody, welcome to today's transmission. So as usual we have the last three angels that came through the bite-sized messages um, working together around the, the themes they were bringing through with some additional clarification cards. So today's message and light codes are about very much about accessing our higher senses to really connect to our higher self, our soul, what we're truly here for, and allowing that to guide us through our day-to-day -day life to navigate the challenges that we come across uh, in um, alleviating worries, in uh, really understanding how to self-nurture in order to really access those perceptions and create faster, better, easier, more peaceful trajectories and pathways forward and also allow that to, to navigate us through wellness, well-being and improved health as well as business decisions or relationship decisions. So, so we've got Gabrielle who is um, bringing messages about new beginnings, accessing our strength, spiritual revelation, so understanding the spiritual purpose and um, how to access really our connection to spirit, our connection to our higher self, to our guides, uh, to the universe, to God. Uh, Jeremiah is bringing us information via dreams and symbols helping us to understand what they mean, but helping us also to access them, not only to access their meaning and their significance, but to allow them to upshift us to receive the light codes through that understanding that are there available for us. Sometimes we don't receive the light codes um, that have been delivered um, if we have some kind of unconscious resistance to them or we're not quite ready. And sometimes things like signs and dreams um, give us more of a conscious understanding or tap into some unconscious key that we then get an aha moment and then we are open to receiving. Sometimes it's just that the signs and symbols and synchronicities are so, um, they're so wow, they're so oh my gosh, that, that there has to be something more to that. That couldn't just be a coincidence that's incredibly symbolic or that has incredible significance and meaning and that how did that even happen? How was that there? And that wondering, questioning allows you to open to, to receive the answers. You're questioning the answers. So it, it elevates you out of your mind as well because there's a confusion in the mind and opens your heart up to receive those codes um, that have been there waiting to, from previous healings or from, um, from your angels and guides or whatever you've been doing um, that are there just waiting for you to say yes to them and then they, they come in and, and it can open a whole chain of healing and understanding and clarity and shifts. And then Uriel is here to, um, yeah, help spark the inspiration and, and allow problems and indecisions and confusion um at the human mind level or confused emotions to be cleared and clarified from the spiritual levels through the inspiration coming through you in an untangible way. So all three together is a recipe for very beautiful flow from divine into your daily life to navigate you forward and upward. So Gabrielle is um, talking about the unnecessarily worries, unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing and solutions. 
Jeremiah is asking us or advising us to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. So when you can take that time out of all the stimulation and all of the routines that you're in, you're kind of in autopilot, it gives you that chance to uh, recalibrate and any uh, healings that you've received can be integrated, they can um, settle in in that still space because you're not thinking about other things or worrying about things or got your emotions invested in things or all the things you have to do that you're you're shifting the focus back to stillness back to peace back to quiet where you can feel who you are underneath all of that busyness and all of that um autopilot and all of that stimulation and from there you can also be in a much better place to receive by eliminating all that noise coming from all the different parts of you and the world around you. You're reconnecting to you, who you are underneath that. You also can hear much more those subtle voices that are coming through from your own spirit and from your guides. Atatia katia kato. And then Uriel, the recovery of health and wellness is here. So it's really allowing a lot of our illness, um, especially chronic conditions, come from um, our lifestyle. Um, even if we're very healthy people and very health conscious, uh, stress can cause havoc in your system. Um, being in the rat race that society has created um, in your day-to-day jobs and responsibilities and things like that where we suppress who we really are and what we really want and uh, do what's necessary to survive, to bring the money in, to keep a roof over our head. Um, so a lot of a lot of illness is where things are out of place over a long period of time where those energy blockages or traumas or restrictions um, I see it as even compressing ourselves to fit into a smaller box as well sometimes of the expectations of others and the the things necessary for survival um so we can have compression, we can have blockages, we can have places where things are not flowing, or we can be all out of whack and um, out of alignment in all our energy bodies. Um, and this is where we've consistently made decisions um, from mental or emotional programming and things like that that are not really consistently aligned to who who we are and then have solidified into physical symptoms and physical problems and so what Uriel is bringing here is that divine inspiration that alignment to soul that alignment to who we really are uh, what our true urges are and allowing that energy with bypassing our mind and our emotions allowing that energy to come through and uh, clear a pathway for us a clear pathway forward to our own wellness, our well-being, beyond those routines. Um, and then we, we get clear understanding of what things in our routines we need to change, whether that be small things or big things. Um, like an example might be, small thing might be just uh, reorganising our space so that things are easier and um more efficient and take less of our time and the energy is clearer in the in the house um, or it might be uh, giving yourself 15 minutes every day in the morning when you get up to sit in stillness and listen to yourself and what's what's moving through you on all levels mental emotional spiritual 
Uh, bigger things might be letting go of jobs or relationships, um, starting new projects, uh, becoming self-employed, um, doing that creative project you've always intended to do and knew you were going to do, um, reconnecting with old friends. And, of course, Gabrielle's talking about new beginnings. Um, so I feel also quiet retreat starts to give us the strength to be able to start new things because you do need strength to make changes. You, it, it's very hard to do that from a depleted space. I just want to also mention that these two cards at the bottom, the first two have a one dove there in the first card and two doves in the second card. So there's a lot of peace energy coming through. Metatron is also here. So I'm just going to see if there's something he wants to say. He's saying powerful change. This powerful change happening over the next three months and act now. That's from the card. Let's see. That's what he drew my eyes to. Ashatayaka cast has taken me to the quiet retreat. Akatata tati tataka katotoko koko, disconnecting from the outer world. Atatati taka katoko koko, yeah, powerful change. So this, this powerful change comes from disconnecting from the outer world, going inner, allowing yourself that space so that you can accommodate and recalibrate to the changes that are coming. You need to let go of the old platforms to be able to step onto the new platforms. To do that, you need to go into quiet inner space, l allow everything to reorganize around you. So he's bringing some healing energy through the crown. Um, and the lower back, especially the sacrum and the tailbone. Yata. 
かたとかとかこうあたたたとかたいやたいやたおこかたかかふうふうふうふうふうふうふうふうふうふうふう Follow the unfolding pathway in front of you. There is infinite possibilities available to you, but there is a pathway that is lit up, that is lit up from your soul in any moment according to your growth and your spiritual development. These pathways change and The glowing pathway alters. Feel now the golden energy moving through your body and down through your legs, aligning your legs to the glowing pathway in front of you. See how this one is the more expansive one with the longest road ahead. Feel how it is connected to your heart. And your belly. Your hara point in your belly. Atatya kata. Feel how your higher senses expand through the chakras in your head and your neuronal pathways in your brain realign to the new. Abundant beginning with a forward momentum that is vast and fast. We bless you with so much joy and love and prosperity, knowing that you are truly deserving of. Fulfilling your heart's desires in this way. Much love to you all. Okay. <laughs> I,、um, that feels almost like he, his own、uh, bite sized transmission as part of this one.、Um, yeah, so that, that feels like、uh, that message is complete. So, I could really feel that, that light and those energies. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's quite big.、Um, just really take note of that. Listening to your body, quiet retreat, listening to your senses card, because I can feel that there w a s a lot of light codes shared there from four angels.、Um, Starting off on a new trajectory, a new lit up, prosperous trajectory with health and wellness and less struggle,、uh, a lot of clarity. But your body needs to integrate it, so please do make sure you drink a lot of water, rest when you need to, listen to your body,、uh, listen to your intuition, listen to those subtle voices. Look out for signs and dream symbols and song lyrics. So that's it for the transmission. I've just got a few announcements and a bit of news now if you want to stick around for that. If not, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. I、um, have had the guidance a couple of weeks ago that I need to channel、uh, a book from the Galactic Council of Light, and so it started coming through. 
And what the book is about, which I didn't know until they told me, <laughs> until they started channeling it, um, is about shifting timelines. So shifting um, how we navigate to the new timeline, choose a timeline and consciously shift across to it. And what I mean by timeline is I mean trajectory, pathway, higher path, um, path aligned to soul. So in every moment we are spiritually and emotionally switching pathways and making decisions which takes us on a specific pathway and any of those pathways that we would have been on had we made other decisions they still exist as timelines and you can jump back and forth between timelines get back on an old timeline get on a new timeline this happens quite unconsciously what they're suggesting we do um, what they want to navigate us through is doing that consciously. So really creating strong intentions and shifting across. And this is kind of like the law of attraction. It, it has crossovers with a lot of things, quantum physics, timeline jumping. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm channeling it from the galactic knowledge, energetic levels. And um, the, the book also contains light codes. So... I'm um, trying to channel a bit of that every day. Uh, it's coming through really beautifully. Uh, they're even, you know, saying, right, here we go, chapter one and everything. So it's it's quite interesting for me to watch and also how that uh, connects to the um, the bite-sized messages that are coming through. The, the, um, the themes are similar you know, about getting getting on, knowing how to get on the path, the best path and manifesting our dreams and aligning to our dreams. And um, I believe the astrology at the moment is also similar, at least the cha astrology channels I listen to. So it all feels perfectly divinely timed. Um, I will occasionally bring some of that information through into these readings, but I'm going to mostly save it for the book. Um, I have set up a new tier on Patreon. Um, so if you, over on Patreon, if you follow on Patreon, all my free um, transmissions from all of my different channels at all the different levels and platforms, they all go there. So you can follow for free over there. But I've just opened up a new paid tier where you get little bits of information from these channelings about um, manifesting and shifting timelines um, as well as other things like digital products, affirmation cards, things like that if, if you want to dive deeper into that. But otherwise, there'll still be bits and pieces coming across onto this YouTube channel. So the next thing uh, to mention the Ascension card gifts that I was gifting from a few transmissions ago, um, they've arrived. So i um, very happy to see those in their new homes, um, welcomed with love. Thank you for everyone getting back to me about the experiences you've had in working with those. And... Um, I am also creating a new set with my with more of my paintings. So yeah, again, you can follow that more closely on Patreon. And the last thing to mention is that some of you may have seen that I was giving away some print at home gratitude cards um, for those that joined Patreon or my mailing list and I want to mention that there were some problems joining the mailing list people told me that they joined when they had when it hadn't gone through so you may want to revisit that um, but the, yeah those um, digital um, those printouts are available if you want to print them at home there still 
Um, additional to that, I now, as promised, have them professionally printed out, cut up and laminated. So um, anyone who wants to order those, they're available on my various shops now as well. Um, with all that work done for you, if you prefer that. So um, they're lovely cards. Um, I've found myself that they have um, elevated my vibe um, to gratitude, definitely. So as always, thank you for listening to the end. Any links I've mentioned will be down below in the description box if you're watching on YouTube. And blessings, everybody. Look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.